been studying, but I just woke up from a little nap. I don't think I'm ever gonna get used to this new hair color. I keep forgetting that tonight is actually Oscar night. And no, I'm not going to any Oscu watch parties or any Oscu beer, Oscar viewing parties because uh, other than watching the first half hour of Dunkirk, I really and maybe Boss Baby, I I really uh, haven't been keeping up with the Oscar buzz in the last couple of years now. Uh, the last time I watched the Oscars was in 2014, which was four years ago when Ellen DeGeneres hosted the Oscars and I went with the group called the Metro Atlanta Geeks which is a, a group that I found through meetup.com and we went to a, a Chinese restaurant and then we went to a movie theater afterwards but myself and a few other people decided to get dressed up because it was kind of a special night but we didn't really do anything that fancy originally that director or of that organization wanted to uh, do something fancier where they were serving champagne and everything but apparently the tickets were very expensive he wanted something free or cheap that we could go to so he found this theater up in the Marietta area of Georgia about four years ago I mean I put on a sparkling uh, shimmery dress and I put on little earrings and I put on a pair of shoes. I mean, the weather was absolutely gorgeous that night. And I rode up with uh, someone who used to drive truck. And I don't know what was happened to her now. I mean, I know she quit driving truck because of her back, but we went up there and she was excited about the movie 12 Years a Slave winning. And she was hoping it would win Best Picture. And me, I was going up there because of my teen heartthrob Leonardo DiCaprio was up for the movie Wolf of Wall Street, even though I had not ever seen the movie. My whole dream was to see Leo win Best Actor, and like so many other times he'd been nominated, he was robbed of the Oscar that year. Ra rather, or little did I know, that I would have to only wait two more years for him to win his uh, performance in uh, The Remnant. But. It was still a really fun experience to watch the Oscars on the big screen. Ellen was an excellent host this year, or then last year. This time I think I heard it's Jimmy Fallon. Um, he's so funny and he just, he puts a funny spin on everything and I really like him. But what am I doing now? I'm about to eat this chili that I made uh, last night. And I mean, unfortunately I ate up the cornbread. That's how hungry I was on the way to the train station even though I had a late breakfast this morning. Um, and I just am really excited. And then I think I'm probably going to get myself a, uh, a croissant and maybe something to drink. Although I have water with me. I don't know. at this coffee shop are really not that bad. I looked at their teas. They charge $1.80 for a cup of tea compared to Starbucks and compared to some of these other big places. They charge you double what they charge here and they have even charge you half of what they charge you for a hot chocolate. Actually not even not even half, but they it was like a quarter less than what they charge a hot chocolate at Starbucks. Although Dunkin' Donuts is a pretty good deal and uh, I know that this is Girl, Scout, Girl Scout season and speaking of Dunkin' Donuts, I need to get in there and grab me a uh, 
a thin mint iced coffee before it's all gone because that looks really good. I mean, I love mint flavored uh, products. And of course, when I grew up, I enjoyed the thin mint Girl Scout cookies, which you have to put in the freezer. So uh, anyway, getting back to uh, Oscar night. Uh, yes, this is me t going crazy over Casey Neistat again, even though I still love my Temple Grand and stuff. But uh, the reason why I bring him up again is because this is Oscar night uh, 2018 and uh, in 2016, Casey Neistat was at the Oscars the year that Leonardo DiCaprio won his Academy Award. And if you would like to check that out, be sure to click up here in the upper right hand corner and you can check that out. Uh, he was really, really dapper in that tuxedo. And I mean, he, he didn't uh, interact with Leo or anything, but based on the footage I've seen, he looked like he was having a really good time uh, walking around the red carpet. And he watched Leo win the Oscars from one of the balconies of, uh, I forget the name of the new place where they watch their Oscars. It's not the pavilion anymore, not the Kodiak, and if it is, I don't remember, but uh, the point is, yeah, go watch. Uh, in my case, when Leonardo DiCaprio won the Oscars, no, I didn't have cable TV, so I wasn't able to watch, but I watched on uh, Comcast.com. Uh, under my account, I was watching people uh, doing a live coverage backstage, and Right as Leonardo won the Oscars, I mean, there was uh, the the girl who won the Best Actress for Room was interviewing, and you could hear people cheering in the background, and they said, well, there's me cheering. I think Leonardo won. And sure enough, there was a beautiful clip of Leonardo getting up from his seat, and as soon as he got up at that seat, I squealed, yes! I mean, I was that excited. So, uh, I was that excited, and I quoted his I'm the King of the World from the movie Titanic, and uh, which was something I was destined to do if Leonardo ever, ever won one day. So that was one of uh, the biggest nights of my life. But I, uh, I'm curious to see who's going to win this time. Because last year, the Academy Awards were such a mess. Uh, this year, it looks like it's going to be a little better, where things have quieted down. Uh, is that they gave the Academy Award to the wrong uh, people that created La La Land. And it, was, it wasn't the case, it was the movie Moonlight that won Best Picture. So. But anyway, I'm just sitting here and I have myself a um, piece of lemon cake loaf and I just had to buy myself something since I ate my uh, chili. And then I'm going to get ready to head out. because number one, it's staying lighter longer. And number two, even though we're gonna have that cold snap, it's not going to uh, drop down into the 20s at this time of the year. And number three, uh, we have daylight saving time just around the corner. If I'm not mistaken, next week is uh, daylight saving time, but I'm not sure. I'll either have to check up on it, but I wanted to uh, give a little message out there. I mean, this is part of the same vlog with the Oscar buzz and all that. Uh, as you know, I've been vlogging like crazy and I love my YouTube and all that. But I think I'm going to have to uh, take another hiatus, maybe for another month. Being that I'm a student at Georgia State University and being that I want to really clip out of this exam and get ready for summer semester. So if you see more prolonged delays of my vlogging, that means that I'm busy with uh, with traveling to, uh, I mean, studying and all that. But I mean, you will see me going to Lake Blackshear uh, next week when I head to Cordell, Georgia. Now, I don't think I can do any footage of the work that I'm doing, but I can do footage of myself uh, traveling down to the Cordell, Georgia area and taking footage of the lake and footage of my room and possibly talking about the meals I had but other than that I think my vlogging is going to have to be limited yes this is a new hobby of mine but um, 
I just I just don't think I can juggle studying and uh, and vlogging because I just it's a lot of work it's a lot of work